So today I would like to show you the difference between creating an email alias and an email user because we get this question a lot and people tend to create users while all they want is aliases. So let's quickly check how it works. I go to settings, email and here I can create aliases. I want to have my own domain alias so I'm putting in alice at nothingtohide.info and I click OK. Now I can send emails with my own domain. I'm sending an email to myself to just see how it looks like. And I have to switch the sender here to my own domain one. And I'm sending a test email. Here it is, alice at nothingtohide.info. No mention of Tutanota, just my own domain. Of course, if you send internally, you'll still see it's from Tutanota because it's end-to-end -end encrypted. And to make it even easier, I can also change um, the default sender, that's again under settings and email, to my own domain alias. And now if I send an email, we don't really have to send it, we just check it. There's the own domain, already there. And um, for some use cases you would also want to have a separate mailbox. For instance, you want to have a private mailbox and a business mailbox and you want them completely separated and that's when you need users. Or if you want to have a mailbox for yourself and one for your partner, that's also when users come in. And again you go to settings and user management and you add a user. Now I want to have um, my company mailbox. So it's my company at nothingtohide.info. I set a password and click OK. Now the good thing about users is also that you can reset passwords. So here in the user management you can manage everything you want about this new email address. You can reset the password, you can add a second factor or remove it. So some, something that we at Tutanota can't do, you can now do for your own users. Um, so should they ever lose your password, the address is still not lost. If you want to log into this separate mailbox, you of course have to um, do this, as it's not in the Alice mailbox. Nothing to hide.info. Yes. And you enter the password. I don't want to save it. Here's the completely new mailbox. No emails there yet, because it's completely new. Um, and that's the difference between email aliases and email users. If you have further questions, let me know. I'm happy to explain. And that's it for now, so goodbye.